Yes, folks, we have some more rain coming our way today and even tomorrow. We're going to look at that in just a second because right now, if you're tuning in with us this morning, it's already plenty warm out there. You're looking live here in Victoria. Right now it's 74 degrees and your dew point at 73 degrees, bringing your humidity to 97%. And usually in the fall and the winter months, the air would be cooler and more dense. And at that level of humidity, you would see some fog. But right now in the summertime, air is more warm and more buoyant. There's more mixing in the atmosphere and the air rises. You're not really going to see too much in terms of fog out there. All those computers says eight mile visibility. If anything, you might see some like literally water kind of floating through the air because we're right here on the coast. But in other, other news, with it being that humid out there, you also might see some rain. And looking at that radar, all the rain is kind of concentrated along the immediate coast this morning, especially down there near Port Lavaca, Port O'Connor, uh, Seager, Palacios, Matagorda, and even down there over a few you as well, where it's raining as we speak. So. Get those umbrellas ready because I think we're going to have some more rain for all of us in the crossroads, not just the coast. Going into later this morning and this afternoon, you can see here by noontime, I think it might die off a little bit, but then it's going to re uh, reinvigorate right back up going into the afternoon sometime around 3 or 4 p.m. with lots more widespread scattered thunder showers in our area. The good news is no severe weather is expected for today. We're going to look at that risk in just a second because showers are going to continue dying off a little bit going into tonight with some more forming in the morning and some more coming away tomorrow. That's very good news. But like I said, as promised, no severe weather expected for today. Just some general thunderstorms expected by the SPC. But coming away for the next few days, rain chances are going to kind of slowly taper off going to the weekend and the heat wave begins next week. And we're going to take a look at all that more in just a few more moments.